Chicho here. It's end of November 2010 and just to, to do a little quick update, just a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, first thing is a Series 3B. Now we've done a huge chunk in Series 3B. We've talked about all the different types of factoring techniques that we're going to talk about. And what's left is just a couple of more minor little topics uh, that I'm just going to talk about. One is the remainder theorem, the other one is the factor theorem. Which they're basically the same thing. I've already sort of talked about them and we haven't really given them a specific name yet. And you know, we're just going to make a little video on that. And then what we're going to do is do a whole bunch of examples uh, and I'm going to try to pull some examples from you know real life examples or make up my own real life examples in the in the two-dimensional ideal world of mathematics that we're dealing with right now right so series 3b you know a huge chunk of it is done there's a little bit of a little bit of more left to do and what's gonna happen is I'm not going to create a table of contents for it yet I'm gonna wait until series 3b is completely done create the table of contents then, and then put out the torrent, you know, create the torrent and put that out all in one shot, okay? So things may seem a little disorganized right now. If you've been following it from day one for Series 3B anyway, uh, you have a pretty good idea of uh, how, the, how the flow goes. If you're coming through it halfway through or just seeing this video for the first time, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of videos done and it's basically dealing with polynomials, factoring polynomials, which is gonna kick us off into graphing polynomials. And that's gonna be the next, well, uh, could possibly be the next series that we're going to deal with, okay? And uh, that's basically series 3B. And so what's going to happen, because we're in, um, uh, we're in we're, you know, we're coming into winter, daylight is decreasing, and uh, we're getting, um, you know, I'm in Vancouver, we're getting hit with cold weather, um, you know, it's been raining a lot and snowing a lot, so it's pretty cold outside, and very cloudy. So, so uh, my going out, um, time to do these videos is a shrinking so the remainder of series 3b you know it's going to take a little bit of time to put everything together okay which is fantastic to a certain degree since I'm you know working on some back-end stuff doing a little bit of research and trying to set up some of the other you know projects related to the language of mathematics and math in real life you know it's giving me time to you know just take a little breather and look at the whole picture and try to organize things and you know set things up that are going to be coming uh, later on after series 3b is done okay so that's what's going on with series 3b be patient if you've been following it uh, it will be complete in the next at least couple of months two or three months anyway uh, three months the longest I'm gonna definitely get it done in the winter of 2010 Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk to you about is the torrents that are already available online. Torrents for series 1, 2, and 3A. Now, a few months ago, I had a problem with the trackers. I started getting a red arrow when, um, you know, when I was seeding the torrents. And from what I, you know, there's a little look at, looking into it with the red arrow, man, it basically means that the tracker is having problems loading. So what's happening is, you know, if you're trying to download the first three torrents, um, you know, it may show that there are no seeders on it or, you know, that, you know, all the information, 100% of the information is not available. That's not true. I've tried reloading the torrents, reloading the trackers, and the problem still exists with the red arrow. So just want to let everyone know that I've been seeding those torrents basically 24 7 since i created them and i will continue to do this as long as i have internet connection that is right so if you're trying to download the torrents if it says there is no seeders there's definitely at least one seeder and that's me and i got one computer 24 7 seeding it so if you do have problems you know send me a little message um you know, I do see people uh, loading it, so I'm assuming there are no problems, and no one's you know contacted me saying that there's any problems downloading the torrents. And I just want to put this out there. And the torrent for Series 3B, as a, as I mentioned, is going to come up. You know, I'm going to load that up when I finish Series 3B and when I put the table of contents contents together. And that's going to be you know sometime in this winter coming up, winter of 2010. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is, um, you know, that we are in winter and mentioned, you know, the time is getting shorter for me to go outside, so I'm doing a little bit more work uh, 
you know, inside doing the research and organizing for, you know, future, future videos that are going to be coming up and future content that's going to be coming up. What's going to happen for the next little while is, um, you know, for the foreseeable future, is I'm going to be possibly creating other content that's going to go on the site and other videos that are going to go on the site, okay, that are not directly related to uh, Language of Mathematics three, Series 3B. They are indirectly related because all that content is going to be for the websites that are going to be coming up, right? Because I have, you know, I have to create content to populate certain pages, to populate certain fields, because, you know, I have to give an introduction, you know, lay out the whole thing. So, what you, what's going to happen is you might see some other content coming on the site, both on the YouTube channel and on my blog, which. Uh, is indirectly related to the language of mathematics or math in real life and it's just basically going to be me building content uh, to populate certain pages for the two two math websites math in real life and 420 math okay some of the stuff coming up may be in draft form but what I'm going to do is uh, sort of getting back into writing back into blogging and um, you know, and and one one uh, one reason I did, one one of the benefits of blogging that I did in the past was when I do research, it's it's my way of when I write an article for when I write something or when I create a video, but mainly when I write something, is when I'm doing research, I sort of put my train of thought when I when I do an article when I do a piece, I sort of you know begin with 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 researching something and I go through it and I you know it's my train of thought going through and connecting up ideas and providing links right uh, linking a lot of things so if you see any articles coming on my site um, you know if you're inclined to follow it what you might see is a lot of links uh, going to other pages and that's basically my way of organizing my research okay and it's it is for content for mathematics for 420 math but it's you know some of it may be in draft form it's just me sort of putting things together and I'm going to go back to them and fine-tune them fine-tune them fine-tune them uh, before the two math math websites go up okay so be patient some of the stuff may not be as coherent uh, as um, as finalized as they will be later on okay but I do really want to start circulating some some of this information out there and start doing you know organizing my research because it's not enough just to bookmark it I need to take information and put it into you know a coherent train of thought with links going to appropriate pages that way I actually know where all that information is and this is what I did for my previous site for Chicho I know a lot of people were following that site and um, you know those articles you know a lot of people like them some of the articles a lot of people like them some of the articles and some people didn't like them right but they were basically my way of doing my research and my way of organizing the information that I was coming across that way it was easily accessible for me and that's exactly the same way I'm going to approach you know building content for math math in real life and 420 math okay so there is that information coming across too okay and uh, that's basically it. That's the update I wanted to do. Uh, series 3B, uh, 3B, we're definitely over the hump and we're towards the tail end of it. But because we're in winter, it's going to take a little bit of time. Torrents, they are being seeded, at least by me, one person. Okay. And I know there's other people seeding them as well. And, um, you know, Torrent for Series 3B will come up when it's done. And, you know, keep an eye out for. Um, other content that's going to be coming up. Um, if you're not interested in that content, whatever's coming up, avoid it. Anything that's related to the language of mathematics is going to be tagged with, you know, the appropriate video number. You know, we're up to video 130 something right now. So, uh, or it's going to say as long as the the space allows for, you know, the description to be on there, it's going to say the language of mathematics or math 3B. Okay, so. You know, if you're just following the math information, you're just trying to learn mathematics, then, you know, just stick with those videos. If you're interested in other content and, um, you know, what all this project is about and some of the some of the information that's going to go on both those math both sites, you know, feel free to uh, take a look at the videos that may, may be coming up or the content that's going to be coming up on the site, okay? Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it's winter. <sighs> You know, you can see the smoke coming up or the condensation coming up. And it is uh, definitely a uh, cold time in Vancouver, but it's brilliant. It's lots of 
of snow, lots of snow, um, and it's fun. And uh, it just kicks it up and, uh, you know, uh, it gives it a different tone to it. And this is the first time I'm going to be doing math in the winters. Usually the last three years, uh, uh, or last four years, I guess, I was just doing them in the summer. So this is going to be a winter session coming up just to finish off Series 3B, okay? And I hope everyone's doing well, and uh, I guess uh, I'll see you guys in the next videos. And be patient. Some of the stuff may take a little bit of time uh, just to put together and come out, depending on... You know what the weather's doing, what the lighting is like, if it's raining, if it's you know minus 15 degrees or minus 10 degrees. Uh, right now in Vancouver, weather forecast uh, cloudy, snowing, windy, and it's around uh, anywhere between minus 5 to minus 10. Uh, fun times. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye for now.